What is it? This letter is addressed to Joseph Russo, and it's from Bill Clinton. <laughs> yeah, I probably already won $10 million, right? <laughs> That's Ed McMahon, Joe. Bill Clinton's the president. <laughs> well, maybe I should see what he wants. Yeah, Joe. After all, he's only the president of the United States. <laughs> to know if you think. <laughs> Dear Joseph Russo, I hope you don't mind if I call you Joseph Russo. <laughs> You've been specially selected as an ordinary American to help me, your president, stay in touch with the American people. I want to know your hopes, your thoughts, your dreams. Together, Joseph Russo, we can build a better tomorrow. Sincerely, your friend, Bill Clinton. Wow. Obviously, there's been some sort of mistake here. Why do you say that? Because Joey was just picked to be a presidential advisor? <laughs> What's he going to advise him on? Which is better, the Whopper or the Big Mac? Please, the Whopper? <laughs> Joey, what are you going to say to the president? I don't know. This is tough, you know, because I'm, I'm not real sure about the difference between, you know, hopes, thoughts, and dreams. Let me put it this way. You hope one day you'll have a thought, but you're dreaming. Don't know about the future. That's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed. Buy up your pad and pencil. I give you a piece of my mind. In my opinion, nation, the sun is gonna show. Slap on a smile Come out and walk in the sun for a while Don't fight your feelings You know you want to have a good time And in my opinion, nation The sun is gonna surely shine Couple weeks. Well, you know how my mom let me take the car over to drop it off at Mel's for a tune-up and an oil change? Well, I didn't write it down or anything, but yeah, I remember. Okay, well, there was this guy there, this really cute guy. And I'm all, so when will the car be ready? And he's all, six, what an unusual name. And I'm all, yeah, what about it? And he's all, nothing about it, an unusual name for a rare and unusual girl. And I'm like, humana, humana. <laughs> he holds out his hand and says, Hi, I'm Sonny Padalano, and I'm all, Sonny, what an unusual name. No. Yeah, and he laughs and says, the combination of humor with beauty can send a man to the moon and back on the warm wind of pure laughter. <laughs> he didn't say that. I swear to God. And I'm like, yeah, right. And he's like, so when do you need the car back? Oh, so Sonny works there. Yeah, he said it was like kismet that we met. Then he told me my eyes sparkled like limpid pools of 30-weight motor oil in the moonlight. How romantic. Then he asked if he could buy me a cup of coffee sometime. <laughs> you didn't say yes, did you? I mean, what do you know about this guy? I know that he's been working at Mel's for six years, full-time, and he wears a pair of overalls like nobody's business. <laughs> so he's out of high school if he's been working there full-time. So, he's been working at Mel's full-time since he graduated. Well, yeah, except for when he was in jail. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to review what we've learned here so far. You are telling me that, A, this guy is out of high school. Way out of high school. And, B, that he spent time in jail. Is that accurate? Yeah. Six. This is a very bad idea. This is a bad, 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 bad idea. This guy is not a good idea. Do you understand what I'm saying here? This is a bad, 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 bad idea. I don't think so. I mean, you gotta see him. Come on, he's only 26. 
26? 26? This guy is, what, 10 years older than you? I mean, he probably owns actual record albums. <laughs> well, normally I would agree with you, but I think Sonny is the exception to the whole May-December thing. <laughs> okay. What about this whole jail conviction thing? <laughs> Jeez, don't people deserve a second chance? <laughs> Look, don't make up your mind until you meet him, okay? What does your mom have to say about this? Um, she doesn't know that much yet. Well, how much does she know? She knows her car is running better than ever. <laughs> so you've told her none of the actual horrifying details? Exactly. So you want to meet him? Yeah, that way I can identify him in court. <laughs> Can't believe we're gonna miss the fight of the year just because we don't have cable. So don't miss it. What do you mean? I mean we can bootleg it from someone else's cable. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> Pony, there's cable running all along this street. We just pick out a spot and hook ourselves up. It's a cake job. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Come on, what's right? Paying for TV? Good point. That's not the America I vowed to defend. Damn straight. Anyway, it's not like uh, stealing in the technical sense, is it? What's the technical sense? What? Now, when you steal something, a stereo, say, you remove it from the rightful owner's possession. He can no longer enjoy it. You follow me? Yeah, I'm with you. And in this case, the owner, the guy whose cable hookup it is, still gets to keep and enjoy what he has. We're just enjoying it along with him. That is not stealing. That is sharing. <laughs> I'm still with you. Also, I am not entirely sure it's constitutional for these companies to charge for the use of the airwaves. After all, they're publicly owned, so we go for it. I think the founding fathers of this great country would want us to. <laughs> it's our duty as Americans. Yeah, that's right. And to quote Patrick Henry, give me the Playboy channel or give me death. <laughs> Dear President Bill Clinton, I hope you don't mind if I call you that. Anyway, I'm sending you a picture so you'll know exactly what I look like. Could you please send me one of you? It's nice to have a face to go along with the name. <laughs> oh, and while you're at it, if you have any extra pictures of the Gore Girls at the White House swimming pool, send them along too. Anyway, I put together a list of teachers who you should seriously think about firing. And it's got nothing to do with me failing their classes. These are just basically bad people. <laughs> what time did you say he'd be here? He's going straight from work. What do you say, gorgeous? Hi, Sunny. As if from darkness into light, my eyes see yours, my heart takes flight. <laughs> This is my best friend in the entire world, Blossom Russo. Blossom? What a floral name. <laughs> I'm deeply honored to meet such a close friend of six. Likewise, I'm sure. <laughs> so, Six tells me you've been in the big house. <laughs> that is true. I uh, made a mistake as a young man. What kind of mistake? I had a customer who was stealing cars. He paid me to change the way they looked. I figured since the cars were already stolen... <laughs> let's just say it was very naive. Not to mention guilty. True. True. <laughs> and I paid my debt to society. And I now work and toil and earn my day's bread by the sweat of my brow. Isn't he great? <laughs> Well, it must be tough for an ex-con to get a job. It is. That's why as much as I like working at Mel's, I want to go into business for myself. Uh, doing what? Bonsai trees. <laughs> Bonsai trees? I find great peace in their perfection. 
until you've sat and sculpted a bonsai into a perfect miniature, you haven't experienced true tranquility and, and inner peace. Where'd you learn it? In the joint. <laughs> I've always appreciated tiny perfection. That's why I was attracted to six. Isn't that great? <laughs> Um, six, Sonny. Um, I, I'm not sure of any other way to say this, so I'm just gonna level with you here. I think you're the wrong guy for my friend. Why? Well, first of all, you're way too old. Love knows no age. Uh, bounds. Love knows no bounds. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Blossom, my heart has already been captured like the way the, the caged bird flies. Sings. <laughs> Blossom, my heart has already been captured like the way the, the caged bird flies. Sings. If a caged bird flew, it would hit its stupid head against the bars. You have the mouth of a poet, Blossom. <laughs> the heart. I have the heart of a poet. <laughs> it's getting a little old. Boss. <laughs> Sixty, I gotta run. There's three tune-ups and a lube job with my name on them back at Mel's. Blossom, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Six, sayonara, mon chéri. Give him this, he sure treats you great. Yeah, see, and it's not only me. He's great to his wife and kids, too. Dad, if I told you something in strict confidence, would you promise to keep it to yourself? I'll tell you what. Let's try something different. You just tell me who did what, and I'll figure out how to punish Joey. No, it's about Six and this guy she's seen. A guy with whom she has a date tomorrow night. Is he picking her up here? Yeah. And she's clearly in my jurisdiction. Why doesn't her mother approve of this guy? I didn't say that. Okay. Let me rephrase the question. How bad is this guy? Well, compared to who? Oh, I don't know. Say compared to Vinny. <laughs> Much worse. No way. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> Sonny is older than six. Vinny's older than you. Sonny is ten years older. That's worse. Sonny's married. Much worse. He's separated. Yes. He's got kids. Then he's looking very good here. Sonny has been in jail. You and Vinny have my blessing. So my guess is that you don't think Six should go out with this guy either. I wouldn't let Queen Latifah go out with this guy. Well, I can't disagree with you, but... When I met Sonny, he seemed like such a sweet guy. I mean, he writes her poetry and stuff. Oh, that's nice. He's T.S. Eliot with a jail record and kids. I know. I mean, I can't believe Six is doing this. Mm, neither can I. But thanks for telling me. I know how hard this must have been for you, but you did the right thing. I'll take it from here. Thank you. And now, I'd like you to do a little something for me. What? Call Vinny and tell him I love him. <laughs> Maybe. Eh. May I come in? Sure. You guys going out? Actually, just me. I have a date. Really? How nice. Anyone I know? No, I don't think so. Anyone your mom knows? <clears throat> yeah, she does. She knows him from where she gets her car work done. 
I see. He works there, does he? Yeah. You're just out of curiosity, how old do you have to be to work on cars these days? You told him, didn't you? Oh, well, I didn't exactly tell him. I told him. <laughs> Whether she told me or not, Six, I would have found out about it when he got here, which is when? In a little while. Excuse me, I have to, um... Leave. <laughs> You do realize there's no way I can let you go with him when he gets here, right? Jeez, why? Six, I have to protect you. You're like one of my own kids. Plus, you're staying at my house, so I have to do what I think your mother would do, which is not let you go with this guy. Why not? Do you want the reasons alphabetically or by order of insanity? Neither. Would you mind telling Sonny, though? I hate that wounded puppy look he gets when something like this happens. Oh, I'd be delighted to tell him. <laughs> I'm sure he and I will have a nice little talk. Sorry, Six. It's all right, I guess. We're gonna have to deal with it sooner or later, right? In a way, it's kind of a relief. Six, you remember when I said that this sunny thing was a bad, 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 bad idea? <laughs> yeah. I was soft-pedaling it. This is an enormously, tremendously, galactically awful idea. An idea so, so devoid of merit that it actually literally stinks. <laughs> Can you grasp that? A, a concept? I mean, an intangible thing so fetid, so incredibly putrid that it just, it, it exudes this Stench. <laughs> Plus, when we don't have to dance around it, we're friends. All right. I think that everything surrounding the issue of you and Sonny is just utterly and universally wrong. Am I getting through to you here? Look, Blossom, I know that everything about this seems wrong. It's just that in my heart, it feels so right. Give me one good reason why it feels so right. Well, nobody else has ever told me that they love me. Six. In conclusion, a word about cable TV. You know, unless a family has cable, and I mean real cable, not those Geekorama public access channels, there's no way you can see naked chicks in your living room. That may not seem important to a guy your age, but trust me, I am speaking as the voice of a generation here. Hey, you might like it too. There's nothing like watching a couple of centerfold fantasies after a tough day in the olive office. So get every family in America free cable. You could do it, Mr. President. I mean, Bill, I know you could. Sincerely, your friend, Joseph Russo. Right, good fight, man. That was great. Come on, let's unhook this thing before your dad gets all mad and everything. No, no way. I want to keep this. Look what's on next. She's topless. <laughs> I am talking about the greatest president in the history of the United States. <laughs> you have any idea? No. All I know is this is the best version of Pinocchio I've ever seen. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Sonny? Baby? Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up six. 
Wait a minute. You're the guy who's dating six? Yeah. What about your wife? We're separated. Again? Yeah. Oh, so you're dating six. Well, this explains a lot. Like what? Like why Blossom's old man gave me those frozen steaks. <laughs> hey, Mr. Russo. This is Sonny Padalano. He's here to pick up six. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> right. I've been waiting to meet you. Would you step in here with me, please? <laughs> What's going on here, Sonny? Just here to pick up six. Figure we'll hit a movie, then grab a bite to eat. Why six? Well, with all due respect, Mr. Russo, that's an odd question from someone who knows her. She's fantastic. I feel like there are wind chimes in my heart when she enters her room. Cut the crap, Sonny. <laughs> you're ten years older than her, and you're married. Separated. You have kids. Adorable kids. Want to see? <laughs> Mary June's the baby. She's three. Oh. Yeah? yeah? She's lovely. Would you let your daughter go out with someone who was ten years older? Well, frankly, I think three is a little too young to date. <laughs> sort of a moot point. <laughs> I think you know what I'm getting at here. Yes, of course I do. I would probably feel the same way if I was on the outside of this thing, but I'm not. So as much as I respect your opinion, I think I'll go get six now. Sonny, you don't seem like a bad sort, so I'm just going to say this once as nicely as I can. There's no way I'm going to let you take six out tonight. Just because of the age thing? No, not just because of the age thing. You're still technically married, or have you forgotten? I would never forget my darling Veronica. She's the best. I, there is no one I'd rather be separated from. <laughs> let me show you her picture. Now, keep it. <laughs> just understand this. If you lay one hand on that kid... Please. Now, Please. My relationship with Six is based on the medley of our minds. Melding. <laughs> Melding of the minds. I see where you're going from. <laughs> but believe me, Mr. Russo, my relationship with Six is a purely intellectual romance. I don't think a guy your age who dates a 16-year-old girl has the mind for an intellectual romance. And you are aware that Six has kept a secret from her mother. A fact which saddens me. Truly, the time has come to allow the sunlight of my love to shine from underneath a bushel of secrecy that has kept it hidden. We will hide no longer. Here. Have a tree. <laughs> He's still awake. Yeah, what's up? I think I should be asking you that question. I just got off the phone with Sonny Padalano. You called Sonny? Actually, he called me. Really? Six. Sweetheart. This is crazy. He, he's way too old for you. Why is everyone so hung up on this age thing? I mean, what difference is it going to make when I'm 80 and he's 90? No difference. No difference. With any luck, I'll be dead by then. <laughs> you know, Mom, this is not just some big joke. Not some big joke? I can't believe you are doing this! There is no one in the world who could possibly understand the point I'm trying to make, which is that I have to see the sun. What? As far as I can tell, this guy is a major league pervert who's already been to jail. And if I have anything to say about it, he's going back there. I just don't understand why you be so stupid. I do not have to stand here and take this from you. Oh, this is just.
just the beginning, young lady. You are confined to your quarters and you will never see the sunny again. You are not going to make me a prisoner in my own house. Ah, but you are in my house. Yeah, well, not anymore. Next time on Blossom... Six is with Sunny. She needs to talk to you. Well, what's her number? There's no phone where she is. You have to go see her tonight. Will you two stop it? You can't go running off to Vegas. Why not? Because she has an American history test at 10 o'clock. See, now you're starting to talk to me like a parent. I'm going to have him killed. <laughs>